again, like probably everybody in here, at least at the beginning of the process and maybe still today, depending on where you are, like, again, we all thought or think or want to be Division I players. Like everybody's, that's, that's what everybody talks about. Like, if you grow up in Raleigh, you might be dreaming about being a player at NC State. You are not growing up dreaming of being a player at NC Wesleyan. I get that. <laughs> I get that. Okay? But again, what's going to make you one of those 1,000 worldwide who become Division I players in, a, in one class? So academics play an important role. In Division I, they have 13 full scholarships. There's no, it's a full scholarship. So if you go Division I, you get a full scholarship if that, if that is offered to you. In Division II, there are athletic scholarships available, but they come in a variety of packages. They may be a full, and they could be $500. And so depending on the, the NCAA limit on Division II scholarships is 10 per school. Every school does not have 10. There are leagues that have limits. There are schools that have limits. Some places maybe have seven or six and a half or whatever. And so they have to then divide that up. Even if I have 10, if I have 12 or 13 or 14 guys, I got to divide that 10 up somehow. And so uh, the same way that if you've ever had a child go anywhere to college, if you've applied for aid through the FAFSA form, and or they've qualified for academic money because of their GPA and SAT score, the same process would hold true in Division II and Division III. In Division II, they'll take the FAFSA information and the academic information and they'll say, well, their financial aid package would be this. And then the basketball coach says, well, I really, really, really want this guy so he packages everything on top of that in scholarship money. So in essence, it becomes a full, even though it's not all basketball money. If they want him, but maybe they don't really, 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 really want him, but they want him, maybe they give him a smaller package and it's still, it's just like a financial aid package, except there is a line in there that says athletic scholarship or basketball scholarship, and it's for X number of dollars. And so, and for us in Division Three, there is no athletic scholarship. And so they apply to school and, and aid, just like any student would apply to the University of North Carolina or Duke or Shaw or St. Aug or anywhere else. Um, what I have told players when we compete head to head with Division II schools is at the end of the day, look at the bottom line. If, if you like both schools, and I'll, I'll use uh, Mount Olive College, or Mount Olive, uh, University of Mount Olive now, they've changed it, University of Mount Olive, because I, I know the guy there, he's a good guy. And if a player is being recruited by both, uh, and likes both, and feels good about either situation. And they've offered him a partial scholarship. If they offer him a full and he likes both places, I can't offer him that. I can't offer him that. So that's hard for me to argue why he should come and take out a three or $4,000 student loan or have to do something and when he can go for a full, right? That, everybody understands that. But if it's a partial, and he likes both places, or in some cases he likes us better, which does happen occasionally, <laughs> then look at the bottom line. If the cost is the same, even though here, and, and this is important for all of you guys, there are some guys who the bottom line for us might actually be better than a Division II in some situations. But because there is a line, whether it says, $500 or $1,000 or $10,000. That line in there, guys like it, they like to come back to the school and say, yeah, I got a D2 scholarship. Yeah, but you know what? You could have paid less than going to North Carolina Wesleyan. But, you know, like you got to, what's, what's more important, a little swag with the fellas, you know, at school or, and, and being in the right place. Like what's the right fit? 
if, you know, and whether it's us or another Division three, it doesn't matter. Like, it's really about fit. Who wants you? I, and I've always told players this. If a school, if you are recruiting a school harder than they are recruiting you, it's probably not the right place. If you're having to kind of, coach, I really want you, you know, can I come work out? Can I do, like, if they want you, they're going to let you know. It, it's going to be clear. Uh, when you get a letter in the mail, that doesn't mean you're being recruited. When you get several letters in the mail, that does not mean you are being recruited. If a coach is calling you and texting you, that's a good sign. If a coach comes to see you play or practice, that's a good sign. If they invite you to campus, that's a really good sign. But just because you got a couple of things in the mail or just because you got an email, you don't know if that email was sent to one guy, ten guys, or a thousand guys. Um, so you'll know when they want you, it becomes pretty apparent.